Hello guys and welcome back to another small guide. Today I want to jump on Vertigo because it's actually incredibly easy but still I still see people failing this. I can go circles again and again and you won't see me fail the jump a single time. It's very very easy once you know how to do it and I want to teach it to you so you never fail again. So some people might say but you do it with a knife, I want to do it with the gun, even with the gun. It's as easy as that and yeah, it's a very easy jump. Also. Uh, because we're on this side already after you did the jump uh, You can if you want to get up here and don't need to be bound to sneak around uh, Here or here you can step up and sneak up here without making sound and without needing to jump You can just walk or sneak up here crouch up here everything works and yeah, it's especially useful like you do this jump because uh, maybe left side and right side of generator is smoked and you still want to get in Maybe you have someone up here on con up here on con already and someone down here And you don't want to just stack in between them so the enemy can do one spray down You want to spread out a little more so you go for the jump instead So in these scenarios maybe they die up here uh, Maybe the smoke on the left fades first and you want to go through there So these scenarios don't jump up here just sneak up this protect sandbags things All right So back to the jump first off why do people fail this jump? Uh, most of the time, like if people would do the jump like this, come from this side, people wouldn't fail the jump. I'm pretty sure uh, if you practice, you should start practicing it coming from this, like just in here, the protect sandbags. Walk straight, like you just wanna hold W, walk straight, and before you jump, the very second before you jump, you're also going to start holding A, like going left. Like uh, now I hold W. And now A and you're gonna press both of these W and A the second before you jump and you know you hold down both of them by curving your mouse to the left like this like walk straight then walk straight and left jump keep holding these buttons and turn left and it looks something like this and this way you can always get this jump down very very easy stuff so people get confused on how to do this jump because they come from CT most of the time Like if there's a smoke or maybe here's the smoke and you want to get through here By the way, it's really really good if you first peek out like this because people might be back there on the pillar uh, Before you do the jump if you want to do it fast however uh, You're probably coming like this and now the thing is if you walk like this it would feel natural to do a right side jump like press W and D but you don't want to press the D key at all if you want to do it to do it the safe way instead you want to walk a curve with your mouse like I press W I do the curve and now I'm in the same situation I'm on here at the front at this little thing goodbye little thing um, and when I'm at the front I told you we're going to press W and A jump Keep pressing them and do a left side curve. There's no ri walking right at all. And if you come from this, you might want to do a right side strafe, like walk like this and now do a right side strafe. But that's just wrong. And you also can't do a left side strafe from here because if I left side strafe from here, I might hit this corner or this corner. And if you touch a wall, you lose momentum. And if you lose momentum, you're not going to make the jump. You're going to fall off. And obviously, you don't want that. So if you walk from here, just do a little curve. Then do your jump and as easy as that you can always make this little vertigo jump Just go into the practice game practice it for five minutes straight and I pr uh, promise you if you remember these things You will never fail the vertigo jump again. All right guys. Thanks a lot for watching as all times I'm really thankful for your support. Please leave a comment down below what you want to see next I'm currently working on a little new movement guide uh, to the silo jump and to the main surf and also obviously the next masterclass video is probably going to be nuke so make sure to subscribe check for notifications and see you another time